It's the two mile one furlong Labrooks Marathon now uh, for horses rated up to 90. So we've got Tour de France, Paul Rhodes, Eastwell, Rosie, Padraig, Hogan, Highland Gala, Martin Leader, Mahab, Fun- Funshine for Derek Hinton, and Wimped Feel Ollie for David Hooley. He is six to four favourite going down to post. So a small field of five here for leg four of the Lad- Ladbrokes Marathon. And they're off and running. And it was Mahab's Funshine that broke best of all, but is now just being restrained slightly to allow Eastwell Rosie to go past him into that pace setting lead uh, for Padraig Hogan. Um, but a modest pace being set. Tour de France, a little bit keen for a few strides there for Paul Rhodes. Uh, on the outside, a Highland Gala, Mahab Funshine. And towards the rear of the field, Wimpfield Oli, as we get a lovely view of my local track. Newcastle and I'm currently uh, sat in one of those houses uh, just in behind really um, but it's Eastfeld Rosie that has a good few lengths advantage over Tour de France, Highland Gala Mahab Funshine on the outside of these and Winfield Oli is still the back marker uh, we've still got 13 furlongs left to travel so this could be a bit of a tactical affair with such a, a small field and no blistering pace being set, but it is Eastwell Rosie that's being given a very soft lead at the moment of at least seven lengths now over the chasing pack Tour de France and Highland Gala just racing side by side and matching each other stride for stride. Mahab Sunshine on the outside of these, travelling uh, nicely. They're all travelling pretty strongly at the moment, and the favourite going to the post from David Hooley's yard. Uh, just happy to see things out from the very rear of the field at the moment. And ten and a half furlongs to go. They're swinging left-handed here, and it's still Eastwell Rosie. Advantage remains around six to seven lengths, but the the gap uh, reducing ever so slightly now as the chase and pack led by Mahab Funshine start to move forward ever so slightly. But Eastwell Rosie still being ridden very confidently out in front is rent the final nine furlongs, but. The pack in behind are really keen not to give this one too soft a lead as they start to come towards the final bend and there is only a mile left to travel. It's Eastwell Rosie now by about three to four over Mahab Sunshine. Highland Gala on the rail, Tour de France. Uh, been relegated into fourth place now for Paul Rhodes, but again, they're all still traveling very well. Winfield Oli might want to start closing this gap a little bit as there's a good 12 to 15 length start to finish here. Uh, Eastwell Rosie. Uh, now by only a couple of lengths over Mahab Funshine. The pace remains the same. It's been the same throughout, so no buttons being pushed by any of these horses just yet, but Tour de France is the first to just be niggled along for a few strides to go up and really mount a challenge to Eastwell Rosie, but you can see there the jockey gets to work on that one and responds and just starts to kick clear a little bit, increases the tempo and ups the ante ever so slightly as they start swinging left-handed. You can see the stands in the background. They're into the last four and a half furlongs now, the favourite towards the rear of the field looks really outpaced at the moment, really struggling to get into the get involved here for David Hooley. Um, Eastwell Rosie back at the front now kicks on and starts to go away again for Padraig Hogan. Mahab Funshine uh, sets off in pursuit. Tour de France is struggling uh, slightly. Highland Gala now passes that one for Martin, lead him up the rail. There's still plenty of uh, distance left to travel here. There's still over two furlongs to go, and Eastwell Rosie perhaps. The tank is starting to empty up front as Mahab Funshine getting ever closer. Tour de France getting a second wind, starting to stay on again. Highland Gala looks like that one's race is ran. Winfield Oli now finally starting to stay on for Derek Hooley. David Hooley, sorry, but might have left it too late. We're in the final furlong. Eastwell Rosie still holding off all challenges. Tour de France coming on the outside. Winfield Oli flying down the centre of the track, but's left it too late. Eastwell Rosie wins the Ladbrokes Marathon leg four from pillar to post really well judged pace by the jockey on that one he's ridden this track to absolute perfection there knew exactly what was left in the tank clearly and the horse just kept responding kept giving kept responding all the way to the line different challenges at different times in the race but in the end it held off all of them and wins it by a length and a half over Tour de France for Paul Rhodes in second Winfield Olly uh, got going far too late in third for David Hooley. Mahav Funshine fourth for Derek Hinton. And last of the five was Highland Gala for Martin Leedham.